Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to this morning's study. Before we begin, can you join me in a word of prayer? A dear Father in heaven, thank you for the time that we have each morning. We invite your Holy Spirit here as we open your word together. And we ask that you can be our teacher and guide and that you can comfort uh, us in the time of, of trial that we face each day and that um, you can also watch over those that we care for and love and watch over this movement. And we just pray for your Holy Spirit to instruct us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, good morning, everyone. So I, I've been actually doing quite a bit of work trying to figure out different connections between dates and so forth. But I started getting sidetracked by looking at series, that is, you know, one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six. And, you you know, if you go up to plus 36, you get 666. If you go up to plus 49, you get 1225. And I'm pretty sure Stephen did something with that because that gives you December 25th uh, as a symbol 1225. And, and then I was looking at some of these different spans of time. I uh, went up to uh, plus 126, which gave me 8,001. Uh, I looked at plus, uh, I think it was 153. Um, I looked at different ones. Can't remember the different numbers that we got from them. So I got a little bit sidetracked while I was trying to do some of this, uh, these calculations. Now, where we were addressing yesterday is we were looking at these uh, numbers, uh, 3615, and we mark that word consumed, which means to to accomplish or to end. And we were asking questions about well, what is ending there. Now, if we counted from uh, September 11th, 2001, 3615, I'm trying to remember how that worked. Let me see, how did that work? And I think we were adding that to 3027. So we got the number 6643 or 6642, I think, right? And then we have another number, this 6643. And, and we looked at that number by itself. And we also looked at this number with this. So, yeah, so what it gave us was... I should have a chart of it. I should do that. So I'm going to draw this out. I'm just going to borrow another chart. I can work. Okay, so what we have here, this is just another chart that we had done. And so we're going to do something similar here. We're going to start at 9-11. And we're going to use the word, which, which is it? Six. So we had 6643, so I'll put that in there. So if we go 6643, this is going to here, get, and I'll do this this way. Sorry about this. Should have worked this out, drawn this out earlier. So we have these, um, the glorious land. So this, this um, group of numbers. So I'm going to put that up here like this. So we have in the glorious land, and the glorious land, if we add these two numbers together, we got uh, 6643 plus 776. I'm not sure if this, this is what we wanted to do or not. Yeah, so this was 7,419. Okay, so we had that. We also had this phrase which is by his hand, which by his hand shall be consumed. Okay, so copy this and then edit that. So get rid of all this. I don't know what happened here. Plus H. Sorry about that. That was H776. So, and then we take these by his hand shall be consumed. That equals... Uh, 6642, right? So the thing that was interesting here is when we, we added these together, we end up being one number different from this. Now, if we take 6642, and of course, and we add 
777, that's going to give us 7419 as well. So we can see the relationships between these numbers. So I can take this number plus this number and add 777 and I get this, or I can just take this glorious land and add this together. Now, as far as putting this into spans of time, I think what we would do is, uh, so we have to change this. <clears throat> and so what did we do? We did something like, you know, did we use 911? Was that what we were using? I think we were putting 911 over here on this side. Yeah, so we're going to have, do you remember what we were doing with this? Anybody? What should I put here? What date? I think I'll put in November 9th, 1989. And then I'm also going to put in December 25th, 1991. Right. So in this side, we end up with this. It's 776 days, right? So an inclusive count, it's 777. And we know that that's going to reach to, we're going to have 30 years here. If we go November 9th, 2019. Now I know I have to put September 11th in here, 2001. I'll put this in the center. And then we also have Seven, seven, seven days here. And then we're going to have December 25th, 2021. Okay. So we have these, these dates. Now, what did we, what did we do with these numbers? So the spans of time, I'm just going to do it this way. I'm going to put all these dates in this calendar converter. Let's do it this way. Okay. So you can see what I'm doing. So we're going to go 1989, November 9th. And then we're going to go 776, save. And then we just go, and we just need to put in, what did I do there? That's not right. I went backwards. It should be 2019. I, I got this wrong here. Just hang on. Uh, not 2001, 2021. Okay. Oops, I just cleared everything out. I got to do this over again. So 1989, November 9th. Okay, 777, 776, December 25th. Then I need 2021 and then minus 777. And then I go to 2001, September 11. Okay, so this gives us these dates. Now, one thing we will see here is this 6633, right? So that, that number there, the significance of it is that it's, it's 10 digits different than 6643. Now, we can see here, if we add 6633 and you get the 777, you're going to have 7410. Now, we said that it was 7419 if we added the 6643 plus the 776 over here. So what, what did we do with this? What, what did we try to figure out? We, we could count from here, 6643, right? And that's going to give us November 19th. And what we're trying to decide is if the, this is significant. So uh, we have this number 776. That's the word for land. The word for glorious is 6643. And uh, we also have this uh, 3027 number, right, which would be added to, so we have this other number, 3615. Now, we hadn't really done anything with that number, 6315. We, we weren't able to, and I'm trying to find the chart where I have it, because I did do something with it. Let's see if I can find it. It's not that one. 3615. Is this one? It all, there it is. So we're going to come back to this um, to this other chart, but the one thing that I noticed was, so I was dealing with the Gulf War. So let's, let's go back and look at this. So you can see what I'm talking about. Okay. So this history, right? We're going to be dealing with the history of George Bush, the New World Order speeches. Uh, one other thing that we need to put in here is the Gulf War. So why is the Gulf War part of this history? So we've, we've had, you know, the war, the 
Soviet-Afghan war. We've looked at that. So why would we look at the Gulf War in this history? What's the significance of the Gulf War symbolically? So if we don't have it here yet, but we're going to put it in here. So when was the Gulf War? Anybody know the dates of the Gulf War and why it would be significant in this history? Okay, so we have the time in the end, November 9th, 1989. When is the Gulf War going to begin? So it's going to be the Kuwait invasion, right? August 2nd, 1990. So, so we have the time of the end as November 9th, 1989, and 266 days later, uh, we're going to have this, the invasion of Kuwait. And that's going to be called Operation Desert Shield, right? But it, for people who remember those terms, Dwight would remember it, William probably would remember, Angela would probably remember, probably Eldon, probably all of you guys. Uh, would remember the Operation Desert Shield, and then it was followed by Operation Desert Storm. So you're going to have August, August 2nd, 1990, and Operation Desert Shield is going to last 168 days, I believe. There's 180. I, I think it's January 17th, 1991, that we have uh, Operation uh, Desert Shield operate as an operation. Anybody familiar with this? So would it be significant that op Operation Desert Shield at lasts for 168 days? You guys there? Yeah. So 24 times 7. So that's the number of hours in a week, right? 168. And then you're going to have Operation Desert Storm, and it's going to end February 28, 1991. So 42 days later. Any thoughts about this? I don't have a direct thought yet. I just have a recommendation. You might want to check your spelling under uh, verse 16 because I don't think his name was George Bush. I think it's George. There needs to be an R. Well, yeah. Well, I think George Bush is better. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> fine. We'll go with what you think then. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So, so we have, um, so we have these speeches. That's going to be the, that's going to be the joint session of Congress, I think, on September 11th, 1990, if I remember. But, um, okay. So, so we have, so we have this, these uh, terms, operation like desert shield and desert storm. Now I'm going to do something I, I really haven't done before. So uh, the Hebrew word for shield is 4043, and the Hebrew word for storm is 4057. Or, or not storm, for desert is 4057. And for storm, the Hebrew word, there are different ones. There's one that's the east wind. Oh, let me see here. No, the storm. So... So we got when they talks about the east wind carrieth him away and departeth and a storm hurleth him out of his place. That's Job twenty seven twenty one. So you're going to see these this word storm show up and and so there's lots of different words. There's eight five eight four eight four nine two five five nine one four four eight zero two two three zero. Those two go together. No, it's it's just two two three zero. So with the word storm, it's kind of a tough one because there's so many different words for storm. We also have 7722. Two. Thou shalt ascend and come like a storm. Thou shalt be as a cloud to cover the land. I kind of like that one, 7722, two, two, but I need to compile these. Somebody want to take a note of this? So for the word storm, like the Red Sea hurricane, uh, so we got... 5492, if somebody can write that down, because I can't remember all these numbers. 8175, 5584, 5591, that's a hurricane, and 2230. We also have 8178, just like 8175, and 8181, which uh, I kind of like, and 7722. And 8183. So there's so many different variations of the word storm. 
Okay, so those are the Hebrew words for storm. Now, what if we we looked at this desert storm? So I'm just going to take the desert shield first. So I get if I add desert 4057 plus shield 4043, I get 8,100. I add those two numbers together. So 8,100 days, we could say, desert storm. Or desert shield, pardon me. So if I took 8,100 days, it would be 22 years and 64 days. Now, if we counted from 9-11, it would bring us to November 15th, 2023. That's a Wednesday. It's past, you know, a month and a half ago. I don't think we had anything significant for November 15th, 2023. Okay, so 8,100 days doesn't yield anything from September 11th, 2001. Okay, 8,100. Yeah. Even number, correct? Yes. How old was Sister White when she was 81? I mean, what year was it when she was 81? She was 81 in uh, 19... um, Oh, we can't remember the year now. 1908. Was it 1908 or nine? Was it 1908 that she was? Or was it 1909? 1909 conference, she was 81. Right. What did she have to say about the 1909 conference? Nothing good. Was it not the last conference of her life? Yeah. I know it's the one where A.T. Jones presented... And then she said that disorganization is in the very air we breathe. She presented after he presented. Um, don't remember how long after. but So anyway, we, we, we have those numbers. You can see there I got the, the number up there, 8,100. So when we go back here, so we're going to say, now we also had this whirlwind. Remember the whirlwind? These are the days of the whirlwind. So if we go to Daniel chapter 11, maybe that's the word we should use for storm. Uh, so he shall come against him like a whirlwind. Now, they actually have two different words, uh, sa'ar, which is 8175, and um, then that's just a prefix. So it's 8175. So if we added desert to that, so desert was uh, 4057, that's going to give us 12,232. What's that? Of, course, of course, 4057 has nothing symbolic about it, right? But that I know of. What about 457? Oh, okay, I guess. Yeah, I don't know if that would apply here, but uh, okay. So when we got um, 12,232. Is it possible that this with this desert storm with the numbers that we're talking about could be the equivalence of the third decree to rebuild the temple no okay you'd have to explain why i i I don't think that would be what i would look at all right so what i'm trying to find is i'm trying to find a span of time that connects events from the history that we have in connection with this this period dealing with like desert storm and everything to to our time right to something that connects to our time if that makes sense so that we're gonna that we can connect so for instance to something in our history like for instance if we counted from November 9th 1989 it would bring us up to May 7th so what is it here? Um, so this is 12, uh, 232 days, May 7th, 2023. Now, we're, we're dealing with this period of time that was in the 1990s, right? So we're dealing with Operation Desert Storm. It's going to be, uh, I'm just trying to find the date. Is it January 17th that that's going to begin in uh, 19? 91. So if I count 
So that brings us to July. What's a minus? And then we have like the New World Order speeches. So he's going to have, well, the September 11th, 1990, that's the joint session of Congress. And his first New World Order, that's his first New World Order speech, right? September 11th, 1990. Oh, that's the one. There. So we got August, August 2nd. So if we count from August 2nd, 1990, that's when that, the Gulf War begins, the invasion of Kuwait. And we count, what we did is we added the word storm, desert storm. Together we come to January 28th, 2024. So that's eight days after, after that inauguration symbol. So I don't know if that means anything. But that's adding the word whirlwind to desert. So the word desert, 4057, it's midbar. So, so that we would add that to the word desert. We also have, you know, other numbers. So we had what? 8181, which was interesting in and of itself. And if we added that to 4057, no, that's going to be, what are we supposed to add to it? Yeah, desert, desert storm, two, 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 three, eight. So it just gives us, yeah, so it just gives us three more days. So, so if we go from the, the start of the desert storm or the desert shield, so that's the one we should actually look at. But, um, so any ideas of what we should do with this? Okay. So one of the other things that, that I noticed. Uh, dealing with George Bush. So let's go back to George Bush. And I'm, I'm kind of jumping around here a little bit. I'm sorry about that. But George Bush is going to be inaugurated on what date? When does uh, George Bush, George W. Bush become the president? What's his inauguration date? George W. Bush is January 20th of 2001. Right. So he's going to be in 2001. But that's and, Bush two. Yeah, that's Bush two, right? But can we connect Bush two and Bush one? That that's the question that I'm asking. Because Bush one was inaugurated on Friday, January twentieth of nineteen eighty nine. Right. Yeah. So I'm trying to remember how this goes. It's kind of it's kind of interesting that the father was inaugurated on a preparation day and the son was inaugurated on Sabbath. OK. OK, so that's going to be so if you mark the end of the Gulf War, it's going to be February 28th, 1991. I'm trying to put all these pieces together. It's going to take a little bit. So the number of days from the end of the Gulf War to the inauguration of George Bush, the second is going to be 3,615 days inclusive. That is, the Gulf War ends on February 28th, 1991. Right? Is that the date that the Gulf War ends? Yeah. Okay. And then you're going to count to Bush. Whoops. I don't want to capitalize it all. Bush two. Inauguration is three, six. So is that significant based on how we understand this verse? So, so let's take a look at this verse again and see if this makes any sense. So we're going to have, uh, he pagan Rome, the papacy cometh against him. That is the USA and shall do according to his will. So that's going to bring us to December 25th, 1991. None shall stand before him. He will subjugate Syria and become the next king of the north, the new world order under George Bush the first. And he, pagan Rome under Pompey the Great, shall stand in the glorious land, which by his hand shall be consumed. Now, we had there that November 19th, 2019, that's just 10 days past November 9th. That's adding together uh, 3027 and 3615 to get that date from November 9th, but now we're going to go back to the end of this war, and, and we're going to say that that word consumed is going to mark from the end of the Persian Gulf War 
to the inauguration of George Bush the second. Is that fit? Or is that number of days from the end of the Gulf War to the inauguration of George Bush the second just a coincidence, right? So let's discuss this. So is it is it significant that we have a connection between the Gulf War and the inauguration of George Bush with 3,615 days? Because this is referring to accomplishing something. By his hand shall be accomplished. And this this is the glorious land. This is the United States. So we have George Bush the first who has all of these uh, New World Order s- speeches. And, and some of them are going to be in connection with um, what's going on in the Gulf War, for instance. Right. I mean, that's actually the original context in which he starts talking about this new world order, because you're going to have this Gulf War begin on August 2nd, 1990. And his first new world order speech is going to be on September 11th. So, you know, like a month and uh, nine days later, 40 days later, 42 days later. Let me see, because you got August is 31 days, and then you got another nine. Yeah, so 40 days later. And then when the Gulf War ends, we have this span of time. So, okay, you got another 42 days there to the end of the Gulf War. Okay. But anyway, can we say that there is a connection? The end of the Gulf War with the inauguration of George Bush the second being 3,615 days. So he is inaugurated on the 3,000. parallel. Okay, so so we're connecting George Bush the second, and and it's bringing us up to to two thousand and one. So we're connecting events in the time in the end with that that war in Kuwait with George Bush the second, and what's going to happen in the beginning of his reign? You're going to have nine eleven, right? So is that significant? Like. I'm connecting these with these numbers, but the question is, is it important? Okay, you guys need to talk. You got to give me some thoughts on this. Now, I'm, I'm just looking up some another word for desert as well. Nobody has any thoughts? So think about these, these verses in front of you. So we got this, which by his hand shall be consumed. So we have uh, this number that brings us to... We add it together. It's going to be six six four three instead of six six three three. So it's going to bring us ten days past November ninth to November nineteenth. But also we can look at the word consumed. It's going to connect the end of Desert Storm. Now, what would be the significance of uh, or Desert Storm? Right. We, we tied it to the whirlwind. Right. So it's now, why is in the time of the end, when we have the Soviet-Afghan war, why do we have this war in Kuwait? What is the connection between these? Isn't it that we have the army of the king of the north coming against, basically rattling its saber against that which has been the army of the king of the south? In other words, it's very much like what happened in 191 BC. Here is the army of Rome attempting to flex its political muscle in a in an area near the promised land or the biblical promised land. Okay, well, yeah. So, so what we have is we had in uh, we have what happens with uh, Paneum, right? So you're going to have Paneum. You have that whole war. You're going to have then. Rome coming in, and they're going to, uh, in 191, that's going to be uh, lined up with December 25th, 1991, right? That's how we lined up 191 BC. Okay. Okay. And so so we, we, we connect that. So we're connecting this history in 1991 with this history in 191 BC. And you're saying in that history, Rome is going to be, flexing its muscle, right? Right. Okay, so now here in this history, while it says, but he, pagan Rome, 
we line that up with the papacy that cometh against him that is the United States shall do according to his own will. And and so we're marking what happens on December 25th, 1999, 1991 with the fall of the Soviet Union as as paralleling that history. In that history, the armies of the king of the north, right, under George Bush, are going to be involved in this conflict, flexing their muscle, right? That's what you're saying? That's correct. Okay. And that makes perfect sense according to this verse, right? How we have already lined it up. So we're going to have George Bush the first. Okay. So then you're going to have he, right? Pagan Rome under Pompey the Great. We're going to say that's the papacy. Shall stand in the glorious land. So it's, it conquers the United States. And so we have this 6643 plus 776. So the 776 represents November 9th, 1989 to December 25th, 1991. And this glorious land represents a span of time from September 11th, 2001 to November, that history in the time of November 9th, 2019. It's going to be 10, 10 days off. It's, you know, it's not going to be two, November 9th, 2019. It's going to be November 19th. We just still don't know why that is. And which by his hand, so we have this message to the Levites, which is a symbol of March 27th, shall be consumed. And we're going to say that that 3615 ties us from back to uh, George Bush the first to George Bush the second. So the end of the Gulf War to the inauguration of George Bush the second. So we put the siege there is November 19th, 2019 paralleling that siege in 63 BC. Now this would be in, in looking at the siege, this is Rome conquering Jerusalem. So this has some relationship to what's happening within this movement. We're not quite sure what it means yet, but we know Daniel 11 verse 16 can also represent 1119, right? So as you can just, you know, flip over the six and get a nine which we've done before. So so we have all of these symbols of 1991, 191 BC, 11, 19, 19, 9-11, right? Uh, 11, 9, 90, right? So all of these 11s at, or ones and nines, okay? That makes sense? Okay. So there's something significant there. We just don't really know what it is yet. And then... I'm going to find this other one. Uh, I've got too many of these calendar converter things open. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to forget that for now. There was some other date I had. I can't remember what it was in a span of time. So anyway, we can connect these. Now, now maybe I'm chasing, uh, you know, something that's not going to pan out. But I wanted to look at this desert sh storm and desert shield. Now, the reason... Now, why would I want to look at those terms, these Operation Desert Storm and Operation Desert Shield? What would be the reasoning for looking at that? Well, if we're looking at at this with the addition of the word desert, are we not adding in Islam into this entire situation? Okay, right. So, yeah, and, and also the storm, um, because you got... Uh, Storm is associated with Islam as well. Okay, so I'm just looking at some of this stuff. Uh, the Gematria. Um, so Operation Deficit Storm, the Gematria for that in English is 269. That's the normal sum. And the reverse sum is 271, which is kind of interesting. They're just two off. Operation Desert Shield is... Um, Normal sum is 241 and the reverse sum is 326. So I don't know if that's significant. But I like the idea of looking at these Hebrew numbers, right? So the problem with this is we have different words, so it takes a little bit of time uh, to figure out. But um, like the word for shield, you know, the common word is just 4043. But we do have uh, two different words for desert. And the one that really more closely aligns with 
uh, the area in which the Arabs come from is 6160, the Hebrew number 6160. So 6160, um, it's sometimes called plains, plains, desert, wilderness, but it's Arabah. And we ran into it before when we were looking at uh, the book of Joshua. Um, so Arabah in Joshua 18.18, 18, they passed along toward the side over against Arabah northward and went down onto Arabah. The border passed. So this is talking about the borders when we went through these borders. I don't know if people remember that. So this word Arabah is uh, the one I think I like the best. So it has to do with a place that's sterile. Now, of course, we do have other ones, right? So we do have um, an Arabah is going to be also just hang on. It's also going to be translated as campaign in Deuteronomy 1130. And the campaign, I'm not sure why the word desert is translated as campaign. Uh, and they and they not on the other side, Jordan, by the way, where the sun goeth down in the land of the Canaanites, which dwell in the campaign over against Gilgal beside the plains of Mora. Right. So they translate instead of dwell in the desert over against Gilgal or the wilderness, they translate it as campaign. So not sure why. Now, none of these words do we find in Daniel. Right. So I haven't found of the word shield in Daniel. I haven't found the word desert. And I'm just checking this again. You know, the normal word desert anyway, midbar, um, doesn't occur in Daniel anywhere. So, and then this other one, uh, Araba, doesn't occur in Daniel. Okay. It is said that Saddam Hussein was fixated on becoming the second Nebuchadnezzar. Okay, so what would be the significance of that, Angela? Well, I don't know how true that is because I didn't know the guy personally. (laughs) But I figure that would be him trying to exalt himself and build build this lavish palace, etc. Yeah, it it seems like that was the case. Just what would Nebuchadnezzar have to do with this history? Well, because he's in the book of Daniel. You mentioned what this yeah. is. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Daniel. Okay, but but we're not addressing him in this context, dealing with Daniel 11 at all, right? So, I mean, I'm not saying that there isn't any significance, but so anyway, when I add the word shield 4043 and six, so let's go here. And 6160, I get this number, 10,203. Now, if I divide this by 365 and a quarter, I get 27 years. It's almost 28 years. Um, It's going to be how many days? Yeah, so it's going to be like 28 years and 341 and a quarter days. So it's going to be 24 days short of 28 years. And, you know, so that just it just helps us a little bit if we're going to try to figure out when we would look at this 28 years. Now, we know from November 9th, 2019, that that's going to be 30 years, right? Which is, and 30 years is how many days? Anybody know? 10,957, I think. So it does bring us into that history. That is, we can connect the history but can we connect specific dates in our history? I would think we should be able to connect specific dates in our history. Okay. So we're going to connect specific with that number. So 10,203. So you're saying that we should be able to. And, and so what is it that we want to connect? So, so we'd have to be something there in the 19, from 1989 to December 25th, 1991. Do we have anything symbolically that can relate to one, two, three, or to three, two, one? Well, yes. You know, the first, second, and third angels' messages. So, so when we're looking at this, right, we're going to see that that has those symbols. One, two, three, right? That's what you're saying. Correct. And then three, two, one, as is pointed out in the chat, is the Sunday log. 
Yeah, 321. Yeah. I mean, if we counted from November 9th, uh, 2019, it would bring us back to December 3rd, 1991. But I don't know any particular thing on December 3rd in 1991 in any of the, the dates that I have. I mean, I got January 16th, 1991. I got Obviously, we have December 25th, 1991. Um, but that's going to be December 3rd is going to be one, two, you know, like three weeks. It's 22 days previous to um, December 25th, 1991. So I don't have anything for December 3rd. Well, the last day of this year was one, two, three, one, two, three. 12, 23, 20, uh, 12, 31, 23. Kind of an interesting series of what we would say are coincidences. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So if we go to uh, December 20, let me see here. Okay. So this is kind of weird. So if we go to December 3rd, I don't know how to do this. Um, I'll show you it here. We're going to have to draw this out uh, tomorrow, or I'll draw it out and then show you. So so we have December 3rd, 1991. We don't have anything on that date. But if I count, whoops, uh, 10,203 days right from that date, it's going to bring me to November 9th, okay, 2019. So, So I'm going to go back. To there, and I'm going to count 252 days. So, so if we look at this this period of time in 1991, and I just relate it to our time, if I go 252 days, that's going to bring me to August 11th. Now, August 11th is a symbolic date, right? Now, that's in 1992. So, obviously, if I count 10,203 days. That will bring me to July 18th, right? So then I count 252. That's going to give me the March 27th date minus 10. That's going to give me April 20th, 1993, right? And then I go 273. So I'm just showing you how to do this. January 18th, 1994. And that would bring me to December 25th, 2021. So I mean, in there, we have one symbolic date. Now, maybe there's some other date in our history that we need to look at. You know, I don't know. Maybe we go back to January 6th because we're dealing about so January 6th. And if I go back 10, this many days, it's going to bring me, whoops, I'm going to have to go back minus 10. That's going to bring me to January 30th, 1993, right? So, so I'm not really sure what date we would look at, but there must be something in our history um, that's going to bring us back to this history. And, you know, people could say, well, we're just trying so many different dates. But the thing is, they have to be significant dates that are connected, right? So if we go back... Um, in 1990, for instance, and we start with that, the start of the war on August 2nd, right? And we count this 10, you know, that's going to bring us to July 9th, 2018, right? We can count 168 days later. That's going to bring us to December 24th, 2018. Uh, the only significance there, that's the day I come back from Arkansas after to the death of my father, so I'm in Arkansas there in 2018. But but you understand what I'm saying, that there are dates that we would need to be able to connect. So we also have, you're going to have the 42 days, you know, to February 28th, that's going to be the end, and then I count this, it's just going to bring me into 2019, you know, 42 days, at, so February 4th, 2019. So it doesn't bring me to anything significant. We obviously have like the New World Order speeches, the last one being April 13th, 1991. So probably we'd look at that. Gives us March 20th, 2019. 
So that's just just adding that that's desert um, desert storm. I believe where was that desert shield? Desert shield. So anyway, we're going to look at this again tomorrow, and I'm going to try to draw this out. So there may be some significance that we just haven't, because so far what we've looked at, we've looked at, you know, the Soviet Afghan war. We looked at the meetings with the Pope John Paul and the presidents. We looked at the Gulf War, and and we also looked at the New World Order speeches. And so these are all things that are happening preliminary to the time of the end or in the time of the end. And we've we found that we have numbers that connect, lots of them connect with our history, either with, you know, September 11th or with, uh, you know, November uh, 9th, 2019. So that's what we want to look at. Now, when we do this, so somebody watching, you know, they're going to say, well, you know, you're just you're just trying to find something that matches. But we already have an interpretation of the verse. Right. So so we already believe that this is what this verse means. We're not we're not um, interpreting the verse based on these numbers. Like we're not we're not using a bunch of numerology to to find what the verse actually means. We've already employed uh, the understanding of that verse historically using Miller's rules and, and have established that the original interpretation of this or the primary interpretation of this historical interpretation is correct. And then we have looked at how it applies to our history. And we can see just by looking at the symbols of the events themselves that we can line them up in this way. But then there are details in these Hebrew numbers that help us see some things that we wouldn't see otherwise. They, they help make connections. And so these become a witness. So that's why we're doing it. So somebody looking on may think, oh, this is just numerology, but it's not. It's establishing something that's already understood and it gives us insight into it. And so as we continue going through Rome, uh, one is that we're, we're attaching what's happening in the history of Rome to our presidents of the United States, right? George Bush, the first, George Bush, the second, right? We're going to have all of these different presidents involved in this history. Because if this history of Rome is the history of the United States from 1989 to the Sunday law, it's going to show us these presidents, correct? It so, should. Yeah, <clears throat> it should, right? And, and we haven't gone through it all yet. So, um, I know that there are people, um, who have, who have just tried to interpret, you know, who these presidents are, what the different verses represent, you know, and, you know, they got Obama in there and they got, you know, he's going to be resurrected and all these different things in verse 19. But we know it's not, we can't just interpret things willy nilly, willy nilly, that, that there is something here that that has to be solid right right we're not just guessing and and so this primary application is we're going to start going through like verses 17 you know he pagan rome under julius caesar shall also set his face against egypt right we want to make sure that we're establishing these things correctly that that the way that we're using these symbols are going to give us information that tells us that our interpretation that we're making is also correct. It's going to be a witness to it. So there's lots that happens here in the history of Rome that we need to apply to our history. And I'm not sure how that's going to work. Not sure what's going to happen. But we will see whether it does pan out. And I, I believe it will. Right? I don't believe it's going to be something that's a stretch. We will look at it and we'll say, this fits. Right. And that's what we've been seeing through this whole thing is as we struggle with these verses, understanding first the historical application and then uh, looking at our time, we clearly see that these things fit together. Somebody watching this would be pretty confused, especially if we're spending lots of time just doing calculations. But we need to do them together. Right. Because we're studying together. 
Any final comments before we close with prayer? Okay. Uh, Dear Father in heaven, thank you for the study this morning. And we just ask for your hand uh, to continue to work in our lives. Thank you for those that have participated in these studies. And I pray that you can continue in their personal study. And we pray, Lord, that as we come together tomorrow, that you can guide and direct and that you can help me put some of these uh, dates together so that we can see them clearly. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And, and just before, you know, so remember, I connected that August 11th date with July 18th, right? So that was, to me, the significant thing was this 10,203 days. So I'm going to put that on a line and just try to see how it fits together. Okay, take care, everybody.